Time now for a segment brought to you by North Point Bank as we have this year's first market update, the first one of the calendar year 2023. And look at him. He's ready to go for the new year back in studio. So stylish. The one and only Zachary Levesque, director and branch manager of North Point Bank. Good morning. Good morning. Friars lost last night. It's uh, not a great morning, but it was a good game. But they battled valiantly. They have nothing to be ashamed they of. Did. And they're they going to be great. It's a character building win. It is. But we're not here for sports loss. talk. <laughs> character building loss. Loss, exactly, <laughs> which will lead to more wins in the future. But let's get right to it here. We were chatting about um, this morning's segment. You know, when it comes to the interest rate, you were telling me there was a, something to do with the Federal Reserve yesterday, a meeting, so to speak, that really is. Uh, something that we all need to be cognizant of. Yeah, so the Federal Reserve meets often. They met yesterday, and basically they discuss what's going to happen with the discount rate. And a lot of people think that when the Fed comes out and they see news that the Federal Reserve has raised interest rates, it's directly uh, correlated to mortgage rates. That's not necessarily the case. So when the Fed moves the discount rate up or down, it does affect credit card rates, um, auto loans rates, and it also does affect mortgage rates. But it's not like a, a dollar, you know, a dollar for dollar. So the Fed raised interest rates by 25 basis points or a quarter of a point. Actually, the market expected it. The S&P 500 rose 1%, so the stock market had a jump. And also mortgage rates reacted positively and rates went down as soon as they announced that 25 basis points raise in the discount rate. Interesting. So when these things happen, when these meetings take place or when the, these events occur, does that do anything in terms of forecasting? So looking ahead in 23 to 24, can you glean anything from that or is it just day by day? You're smarter than you look, right? <laughs> That's not true. Um, well, because <laughs> to your point, it's all about forecasts. It's not necessarily about what they're doing at that moment as far as rates. It's about what they're seeing in the market over the next couple of quarters. So the Fed uh, chairman, Jerome Powell, said the word disinflation. And it's very important because basically he's saying that this is now the start of a disinflation period and they're seeing inflation cool. So this is good for long term interest rates. Most are expecting maybe one more raise by the Fed in their next meeting in March. And after that, we could see a cooling of interest rates, which is going to benefit home buyers auto buyers, credit card rates, et cetera. So certainly some good news, we hope, on the horizon. And this all yeah. affects so many different things. It does. It at does. Its core. So let's, uh, moving on, Zach, talk current inventory. You know, people out there may be looking to buy, sell, whatever it may be. And I know this is something you always, obviously, have your always, eye on. Always. Um, it's been historically low. And actually, since we've last talked, uh, inventory is even lower in Rhode Island. So currently this morning, there are 760 single-family homes listed which is, it's, it's scary low, right? Yeah. Um, under 200 multifamily homes listed in the state of Rhode Island. So we still have a huge inventory issue. Um, we started to see a pivot to a seller's market a little bit, um, excuse me, a buyer's market, but we're kind of back to a seller's market because there's just not enough homes. So the competitive bidding is going to increase. Right. And as interest rates go down, which we're expecting to happen over the next 90 days, the competition is going to get even fierce. So if you want to buy a home, you still have to offer very competitively and, you know, roll your sleeves up and get to work. <laughs> get to work. Got to pay attention to it. Thanks as always, Zach. Great to see you. Will you, you take well. me turtleneck shopping? Let's do it. <laughs> I'll schedule it now. Always good to see you, my friend. This segment brought to you by our friends at North Point Bank. For a link to everything they have to offer and so much more, just visit us at roadshow.com.